Deepak Chopra said, every time you're tempted to react in the same old way, ask if you want to be a prisoner of the past or a pioneer of the future. Hi folks, I'm medical hypnotherapist Roger Moore. Let me share with you a story about John from my book, Becoming the Greatest Expression of You. For the first 13 years of his life, John had a happy and, and loving childhood until his dad's death shattered the idyllic childhood that he had known. The trauma of this great loss, combined with a host of emotions, including grief, anger, hurt, fear, and sadness, fused with the belief that if he loved someone, they would abandon him. John's mom's struggle with depression and alcoholism further proved that if he loved someone, he would be abandoned. For this young teen, this belief served as a demonstration of his resilience. With his limited life experience, this belief was what he could do to protect himself from the pain of hurt and abandonment. When John was in his 30s, he came to me because his third marriage had just ended. John was depressed and angry. He wondered what was wrong with him that everyone he cared about left him. As, he, an, uh, as an adult, John and his wives had participated in many relationships at counseling sessions. He learned that he didn't let people get close to him because he knew that if he did, they would abandon him. When someone said, I love you, he didn't trust that they'd stick around. John and two of his friends had started a successful business but he often fought with his partners, and at times he sabotaged their efforts. John went so far as to tell me that if he messed up the relationship, then he knew that he had caused it to fall apart. And since he caused it, he didn't feel hurt and abandoned. John's reaction to love had become hardwired. And as lonely and, and as miserable as he was, this method of self-protection was what he knew. It was comfortable and had become hardwired, a habituated autom automatic response. In fact, when he did open his heart to let someone in, his body responded as if he was experiencing a chemical withdrawal. He felt fear and anxiety. That was the problem. The method he learned to protect himself as a young teen worked well then but it didn't work for him well today. How are you protecting yourself in ways that no longer serve you? What old emotional wounds are you still acting out that are hindering you from living a joyous life? What thoughts, emotions, and behaviors have you hardwired that no longer serve you? These habits literally shape your brain. How are they harming your life? For more than 50 years, I've been helping people become pioneers of the future. If you too would like to no longer be a prisoner of your past, send me an email to roger at hypnosishealthinfo.com.